So, okay, I'm jumping on the beehive bandwagon. I'm gonna make a beehive uh, pot just like other people have made. So that's not gonna be unusual. I'll decorate it up a little bit, but then I wanna show you these cute bees that I'm gonna make for Autumn. So the pot won't take that long. Thank you for all the hearts. What are all those hearts for? All right, so um, if you haven't seen anybody do the beehives before, like I said, this is not unusual what I'm doing. Um, and I'm hoping I do it okay. I'm actually really, really nervous doing it tonight because I haven't done one before. So I'm actually, actually very nervous tonight. Um, it's been one of those days where I just feel on edge and I wanted to come say hi to everybody and be with a bunch of friends on here. And I'm gonna do that beehive. Like I said, it's like other people do, but then the bees are gonna be really cute. And I haven't seen anybody do bees like I'm gonna do bees. So I think they're gonna be really cute and adorable. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started, okay? Aw, oh, Jerry, thank you so much, Jackie. Thank you. Um, yeah, that's why I wanted to come on, actually. So let me start. Just gonna go. I felt like I wasn't getting anything done um, for my work thing. Um, it just, it just, I just need to do this. All right, so I'm using a, a pot. This isn't a clay one. You can use clay pots. You know, there's all different ways to do the beehives. This is what I've seen out there on Pinterest. I'm just doing it the way I've seen it, okay? Um, I just look at a picture and, and I like it. I'm doing it. I'll decorate it. I'll add some bees. So this is a part of a styrofoam cone. I just wanted a little bit extra on the top and I'm not going to put a hanger on it. So I just put, I just wanted a little extra to make it a little bit of a skinnier dimension on top. So I cut a styrofoam cone. I didn't have anything else to do with it. So I'm just gonna put a little glue on there. And this is hot glue, so it is melting. Can you see the smoke? It's melting. <laughs> all right, and it's stuck good. So next, again, you see this all the time. I'm using rope. I, I have had rope downstairs for a long time. I'm finally going to use it. Um, well, I was going to cut off this end, but it's going to be in the back anyhow. So again, this is really, really easy. It's what other people do. Um, but wait for the bees, okay? <laughs> I, th I think they're going to be cute. They're unusual, but I think they're going to be cute. So all I'm going to do, you can use thick and tacky glue too. Oh, this is really, really hot. Can you see that smoke? All right, so I'm just going and gluing this rope down. I've never had it smoke before. This is a different glue gun. And I normally use my cordless one, but because I'm going to use so much glue, I was afraid it wouldn't stay hot enough. Yeah, Gina, and I'm going to decorate it up a little bit. And so we'll see what it looks like when I decorate it up. So, um, Ken, we're just gonna go around. This is not gonna take long for me to do. And a lot of people I know have done these beehives. So, like I said, this is not original. I'm it, not original at all, but I hope I decorate it a little bit different. Like I said, the bees are gonna be different. I just wanna make sure my glue gun doesn't touch anything. Hot. That it's some real hot glue, isn't it, Marlene? It is. I don't. I haven't used this glue gun in a while. I I used it yesterday, but I used it as a low temp. Um, and man, it is hot here. All right, so you just want to keep going around with the rope. I said, make sure it's pushed down. And it'll sort of look like the beehive that everybody else does. I just want to make sure I don't touch on this glue because that would be really, really hot. All right. So let's just keep going, putting it around. I can see this does not take long. I hope it don't melt my pot. I'm using plastic. Jerry, you've made some beehives? I bet you could. there's so many cute ones out there. Like I said, this is not going to be unusual what I'm doing, but wait, I, like I said, I think the bees are going to be cute. <laughs> um, I showed Larry them before. I said, well, what do you think? And I just sort of, I didn't put it together, but I just was sort of laying it out and I always say it's going to be cute, right? 
Yeah, it's going to be cute. <laughs> That's the answer I always get. But you could show as you made quite a few. You know, Gina, go out on the Crafty Servings Club page. If you haven't joined it, it's Crafty Servings Crafting Club. And put pictures of your pots. Now, you can't, if you have a business or anything, you can't self-promote yourself. You can't promote your business. But you can certainly share pictures of those pots out there. I'm sure that's a real inspiration for other people, like me even, who haven't done one before. Right? All right. So when I just saw the number of people on here. Man, I already told you I'm nervous. And I almost hit 100 here. So bear with me. Like I said, I haven't done one of these. Everybody does them. But I'm hoping to get them really cute. You ordered the little beads, Gina? You know what I got today and I didn't even open up because I, I ordered it from Amazon? Is, um, you know I like de decoupage. I decoupage with the collage paper and all stuff like that. But I don't want to open it up yet because I don't want to touch it. <laughs> I, I'm nervous about that. Um, but I ordered some really pretty tissue paper that I'm gonna decoupage with. So I'm anxious to use that. So I'm just getting my rope untangled. <laughs> this is my rope mess. It's been down there for a long time. So we're just gonna keep going here. Add it on, make sure I'm not touching on this hot glue because I know I will get a blister as you can see. It's smoking on here. It's sticking really well. I said, you can use thick and tacky glue, um, but because I'm doing it on here live, I want it to stay really quick because I don't want you to watch me do a beehive forever because you can watch other people do it. It's the, it's the after that I want you to watch. I like said, the bees. I'm gonna keep teasing you with that. And now you're probably gonna be really disappointed now that I keep telling you that. You're gonna be disappointed maybe in my bees. I think they're cute. All right. I can tell this won't take long. Your rope looks like my granddaughter's hair of the mornings. <laughs> Um, it, that's not much of a compliment because <laughs> that's funny. Hey, Tammy, Kim, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I was telling people if you're l late getting on, this one makes me nervous tonight. It's been one of those days where everything just wasn't really going the way I wanted to. And so then coming on here, I really wanted to come on because I wanted some friends, friendly words and friends on here. And, but then I'm like, before I came on, I told my husband, but what if it doesn't turn out? And it's been one of those days. So just don't laugh, just humor me. <laughs> I'll laugh with you, okay? Did you hear my clock? That's what all those hearts are for. Did it, well, it would be the right amount of time. It was two dings because it's for the half an hour. Thank you, Susan, I appreciate that. I know you're on here a lot. Hi, Yvonne. Yvonne Henry from Southern Designs and Finds. Thanks for coming on too. Check out her page, she's really adorable. Yvonne, are you doing better? Did you heal up from your fall last week? J Jacqueline, you say everything I make turns out beautiful. Thank you very much. But you know one of these times something's not going to. You know that, don't you? And then we'll all have to laugh about it. All right, so you want to make sure um, it's going to end in the same place. Now, a lot of them you see, they have that hanging rope over, out the top. You can certainly do that. Um, I'm not doing a hanger. Hey, Norma. 
Man, that's a lot of hearts. I love it. It's making me feel good. Making me feel better, ladies. Better about my day. I feel a little better, but no, oh, no dizziness. That's good. Oh, good, Yvonne. All right. Well, we're almost done now. I'm just coming up and I'm going to try and build around that. Make sure I have, a, I do have enough rope here. Make sure I have enough rope here. That would have been something. Then you would have had a half a hive. On how to cut your own hair. Oh, Linda. I would like to see that video. <laughs> You'll have to private message me a link for that because this is getting a little ridiculous. <laughs> My, my hairdresser won't be happy with me when I start cutting on my bangs. And I know we're all in that same boat here. It's pulling up. Uh oh. Where's it pulling up? Are you talking about this? Oh, a little bit. Yep. That's all right. That's all right. I'm just showing. All right, so I'm just gonna put, said I don't know if this little styrofoam comb that I put on top here is gonna make a difference. It maybe won't. All I know is I want to end this rope at the same place that I started on at, on the same side all right so we're just <laughs> I'm just seeing if this is gonna work with this styrofoam here I don't know I think I need the glue on top here see you guys are learning with me and then we're gonna decorate it together and then you're gonna see the cute bees that I'm gonna make. And those won't take long at all. I think they're gonna be cute. All right, so I'm just building this up and I just have this, uh, just to have it, I guess, cause it's not touching it yet. But no, I think it's, it's gonna build up on it. So we do need to have a little something there for that base, so that's why I used it starting to go on to it and see how the top is. I think it's actually turning out sort of okay, right? Thanks, Susan. All right, let's finish this up. We're using lots of glue on this tonight. We want it to stay in place. Some more. Susan, your daughter's a hairstylist. So is she near you that you're able to see her or is she in a place where she can't really be by you? All right, just finishing. This is actually turning out sort of cute, right? So let's just finish so that end it's gonna end like over here again so I'm just looking at the best way to end it I could just keep going up and up and up right all right I think I'm going to end it right here. Actually going to tuck the end down. So we're gonna cut it. I hope, just wanna make sure that I'm gonna do this right. Yep, I had just five pounds of mini full side glue stick ordered in bulk. Ooh, wow. Yeah, you gotta do that. You gotta, I said I don't wanna touch right now. All right, I'm just adding a little more glue here. I think I'm gonna tuck this down and tuck it inside of there. 
add a little more glue up on there put a little glue down in there and hope it all sticks in there birthday's on and she turns 32 our son's birthday was on the 10th and he turned 36 so i'm not able to get together to celebrate i know mine was recently we caught my daughters and my grand some of my grandchildren were all in sort of the same area okay so that's the start of it this is the back of it this is the front of it so it was coming up a little bit so um next is we have to do the little bee hole and i think what i'm going to do is paint the circle first so i've got black paint i came prepared Thank you, Linda, for passing it on. All right. Okay, I'm just using a really little bit of lamp black paint, and I'm gonna paint a circle here. Now, it did come up a little bit. I know somebody told me that. But I'm just gonna paint a little circle here, a black. And that's for the hole. And we're gonna decorate a little bit, and then we're gonna make those cute bees. Again, my tease for tonight. Please stay on and watch me make bees. And I hope you like them. All right, so we're just going to make a little hole. I can always add more black paint if I need to after I make the hole. Okay. So that's a hole. Now you can just leave it like that. But I am going to get this out of my way. And we're going to take a little more rope. And we're gonna glue that around there okay so let me just I'm gonna put a little bit of glue we're gonna do a circle around and I'm hoping it'll stay on it's a pretty big rope so I hope this glue will stay on so I'm actually going to I think add a little more here and I'm gonna do it all at one time or most of it so that we can do it all together I'm gonna just hold it here hi Alice from Houston black felt or fleece that would work good too all right so I am going to cut this off if I cut it in a good spot again and using my good scissor. All right, I need to come up some. All right, so you gotta make sure you're gonna have to have a bunch of glue if you're gluing it in there. And man, it's really hot. So it it is melted. All right, so I'm gonna hold this a minute so that it stays in place. Okay. That'll be cute, right? All right, so this is the beehive that everybody does. But then now we're gonna decorate it up a little bit and we're gonna make some bees. So I'm just hoping, I'm just holding this in place till it really, till that glue really gets solid because otherwise I'm gonna have a mess. Thank you, Marlene. I just know when I let it go, it's not going to stay together. So that's why I gotta do that. Yeah, Gina, lots of glue. And it is, but it's so hot, it's gonna take a little bit to actually harden. Hey, Sue. Hi, Amber, thank you. All right, I actually think, I think we're good. If it pops up, we're gonna put it back down real quick. It's still, I can see that glue is still hot. Okay, so that's pretty cute already, right? Now we're gonna do a little bit of decorating on it. Actually, you know what? Let's do the bees first, okay? We'll do the bees first, and then we'll add the little decoration. Should we do that? 
because I'm excited to show you the bees and I know it's getting late if people drop off I really want you to see the bees too mm. all right okay I think we're gonna just leave that in here now I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue in that edge to try and seal that edge a little bit thank you thanks Sandra it's okay if you miss some this honestly is a beehive that everybody does so but now we're gonna do some bees okay and then we'll maybe add a couple flowers so all right that's the start if that pops open you gotta let me know okay so for the bees now it was probably it, it was before this whole lockdown happened and the stores closing but I was in Hobby Lobby and I did show a live um, that I was live in there and I said look at what I found here look at what's on sale and it was on clearance at our Hobby Lobby it was these beads okay and I thought oh that cute necklace new you know bright cheerful I'm gonna make bees out of these oh good Nancy all right so these bees beads are adorable okay so these are the ones I'm going to use for the heads and then I might use like some of like that dark color but then you have to oops <laughs> I would have a mess here if it did that okay but I gotta show you some of these other ones in here isn't that cute so we're gonna use that um I need some more heads, so I'm gonna get them out. Thank you, Shirley, for passing it on. I have waiting on bees, and then we'll hang it on the front porch. Oh, cute. All right, so I I really like these for the heads, okay? So we'll maybe make three beads, or three bees, and then we'll do the bodies. We'll do one with a stripe, um, and then we'll do the rest. So we're gonna do three bees tonight. And they're, they're gonna be quick and easy. <laughs> I hope they're cute. I think they'll be cute. I just sort of put them, put them next to each other when I was doing it. All right, so so these again were Hobby Lobby. We got, I got these on clearance for like $4.49. Um, so they were actually really cheap. And I haven't done anything with them yet. All right, so and then I need my black wire because this is gonna be for their little antennas. And so first, what I'm gonna do is glue these together and then i'll show you what i'll use for the wings i think they're going to be really cute okay so i'm just going to put a dab of glue a little dab of glue like i said it's so hot it's going to take a minute to to adhere now there's holes in these beads and i want to make sure on this black bead for the top of the head i'm going to make sure the hole is at the top Okay, so we're gonna put three of these together. And let me think, what can I, here. We're gonna brace them up like that. Make sure that's holding together. We gotta make sure this holds together. Okay, and we're gonna do two more of these, so. And then this is, we're gonna have the body like this. All right. Thanks, Jerry. I said, yeah, they were on clearance at Hobby Lobby when I got them like months ago. Okay, again, I want that hole in the bead if I can find it. <laughs> this one is harder to see, there it is. You know what? I'm going to look at this other one, see if I can see it easier. All right, there. This one I see. It just, I just want to make sure we need that hole. Thank you, Brenda. All right, that's that one. So that's the start. Like I said, wait till you see what I'm using for the wings. I think they're going to be cute. All right, now I'm just going to see if I can find that hole. There, now I see it. These bifocals aren't always right there all right so let's put a little dab of glue on this one and this will be the third bead then and 
Okay. Hi, Kay, my neighbor. How are you? Are you watching from next door? Have you made my clock, oh, my clock shirt yet? I haven't. No, I haven't actually. All right, so that's the start of my bees. Now we're gonna take this little thin wire. This is a 20 gauge wire. We're gonna cut a few of these. These are gonna be for the antenna. Um, it should cut pretty easily. And I'm hoping both of these will fit in the hole. Okay, so we'll cut six of these. Well, you know, yeah, you see, it's a cute idea there, Marlene. Um, I actually, when I saw these beads and I saw those stripes, I thought of bees right away, but I didn't think of how to put them together until tonight when I was trying to figure out something. Thank you, Debbie, I appreciate it. If you like what I do, please pass it on. Um, that's what the sprinkle means. So, all right, so I've got six of them. Now you could do them, you know, and I actually probably could have done them. You could do them so that they're a little bit curly, but I'm gonna do them without. You could do a curl like around a pencil or something. For tonight, we're gonna do them without. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is, I've got the glue gun over here. I'm just gonna stick a little bit of glue on there and I'm gonna stick it in the hole and I'm gonna put the other one in there right away. Okay. That one's actually a little long. I'm gonna trim it up. Okay, so almost done. We are just gonna to have to add the wings to them. Yeah, and that's what, the only thing to bend in the middle is that it won't fit in the hole. Uh, that bend, I think, would be hard to fit in the hole. So, but I would like to leave it longer and maybe add that little curly um, on the ends. That would be cute. So, all right, I'm just trying to see where my hole is there. Stick that one in there. Stick this one in there quick. So I would leave, I mean, like I said, do that curly first. Leave it a little longer and do that curly. All right, trim that off. Okay, and then we'll do this one more. And I'm just putting a little hot glue on here is all I'm doing and sticking the other one in real quick before it hardens or you'll have a hard time sticking it in there. And you have to be able to see with these bifocals. All right, there, it's in there. And don't poke yourself with it. I actually did. All right. Okay, so those are the bees. Now you wanna see the wings? I think they're cute. Um, okay, so again, I'm using leftovers. Everything left over here again. Um, look at these flowers, okay? I've had these here for a long time. I always thought I'd use them in a wreath. I don't do much in wreaths, so they're sitting here. Um, and when I do, I don't know how to do it because they're flopping down. But what I thought is if, let's just cut these off. We're gonna take three of these off and we're gonna use these as the wings. Hi, Yvonne. Yvonne from Scotland. Well, thank you for watching. All right, so let's cut three of these off. And we're gonna put them together. Kathy, you can always watch replay. You didn't, you miss me making a beehive like everybody else makes, okay? Now I'm just doing the bees. Okay, so, and look at how these are. So if I take out, there's this plastic. Doesn't that look like little wings? Yes, jewelry, jewelry wire would work for that too, and I actually have one somewhere. 
So, but I I use like around a little tip of a pencil or whatever, any of that would work. All right, so I'm just pulling these out and these are, these are gonna be my wings. Thank you to Terry, Terry Gowdy from the Red Mitten, my friend from school also, from many, many moons ago. She paints the Cardinal and the chickadee up there and now i'm getting a bluebird i'm so excited um so okay so let's add these wings in now so see isn't aren't those gonna be really cute okay so i'm just gonna add a little bit of glue on here again and we're gonna try and pinch that down in there Ooh, and don't get it on the fingers because it'll be hot. <laughs> I haven't tried this before, so I'm just... Okay, I'm going to take this and put it in there. There we go. I said I, I saw them and I held them next to them and I thought, aren't those the cutest bees? <gasps> Thank you for the hearts, ladies. I was so excited when I saw this and I tried putting it together. I thought it looked really cute, but all right. So that's one B. Let's do another B. I just need a little bit of glue. I'm gonna put that on. And I'm just gonna hold that down in there, poke it, poke it down in a little bit. You know what? I've got that one upside down. I want the wings so that they're sort of fluttered up like this. Okay. Push it down a little bit again. And here's the other, you know, I don't like that wing. We're gonna put that one away. <laughs> We're gonna get to take another one. But here, I'm gonna do this one because these are these are cuter. They're they they fit right in there. So we're gonna get another one. I like that little fold in. Thanks, Kathy and Vicki. All right, so let me just put this in there and then I'm gonna pinch off one more because I'm actually going to use, I think, those flowers for decorating. Um, see, cute. Um, here's another one laying here. So I use this one too. All right, let's put that on there. Pinch that on. Cute. So these are gonna go on the hive. Thank you, Marlene. I don't, I don't know if it's the bath, but I think they're cute. All right, and like I said, maybe do the wires longer and twist. I just didn't have that here right now. So one of them I'm going to put on here, okay, so that I cover where that rope is. So that's one of my decorations. I've got glue all over here. All right, so this one we're going to put right here, and I'm going to hold it a minute so it stays on. Thank you thank you everybody see I was it worth the wait was it worth the wait of me doing the same old beehive that everybody else does I knew this would be different isn't that just cute on there all right I really like him on there all right so now let's just do a little more decorating now I have I don't know that I, how much I want to do on here I've got some of these sunflowers. I could put a couple of them on. Let's just pop some off and see. They just pop right off. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna put a couple. Okay, the other thing too, let me just see. I've got, I've got some of these branches. I've used these for other things. Um, I just grabbed them off and I just wanna see that I completely like that on there. I, I'm i not liking that as much on there. Let me just do something. I did this on a cross. 
All right, let's, um, okay. Let's just do one thing here. And then maybe we'll put some, I'm gonna put some of these on. I wanna put a raffia, a little raffia bow up here. We'll, we'll start with that and then we'll see if we just put a few flowers on and add the couple bees yet and then we're gonna be done, okay? So this is the part that I'm not as creative on. <laughs> I am not a floral designer. I, I've never said I'm that. All right, so I've just got some raffia here. I had was running out of my other raffia. So let me grab it. Okay. And now the raffia, what I like to do is, see how it's thicker? I try and pull that apart some just to add a little, so it's a little bit finer. So I just pinch it and pull it apart. All right. And we're gonna do a little bowl. I think I need, I'm gonna take one more here so I can tie this bowl. Okay. So the way I do my bowls are I leave some hanging down, let it down like that, and then I just wrap it around. It's so easy. And I'm gonna leave it a little bigger so all my fingers spread apart a little more. And leave, so you got one on top and one on the bottom. Got something cute on there. And then I'm just gonna take another piece of raffia Hi, Patricia. It's okay that you're late. Thank you, Alice, for passing it on. All right, so I'm just going to tie this bow. Get some of these out of here. Just tie this bow up a little bit. I don't want to pull it too tight or my raffia will break. But then you can also, if you still have those big pieces of raffia, just separate it a little bit and just add a little bit of I, dimension. I don't know if that's what you would call it. So it just adds extra texture. And really, I want it a little bit messy like that. So we're gonna do that on this side too. Thanks, Patricia. would go good with with your bears it would so now you're gonna make one right all right so again I just separate them out just to make it look a little bit messy if you don't like that messy look leave it together but I like the rustic a little bit messy all right here comes the big chimes We'll see if it's right. You ladies count, see if it's 10 because it's not always right. You guys tell me if it is. Well, I'm doing this. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Was that right? I don't think it was, was it? You're welcome, Sandra. Yeah, it, it looks a lot fuller when you spread that apart. So, I mean, this really honestly is not going to need a lot. Now, I am going to trim a little bit of this off. So, did you count my chimes? How many? Oh, was it 10? Okay, so then it was right. My nine one the other night when I was on, it only did eight. So, it's a conversation piece. All right, so we're just gonna do a little of that. And I'm gonna separate these out too because they're not laying completely nice. So we're gonna separate them, make them littler too. And I'll probably end up maybe even, we're gonna trim a little more. Just gonna give her a haircut. The haircut that I can't have. Okay, there we go. I like that better. Our cook could be off. My hubby is off also. All right. 
So I think we, we're, we may end up putting that there. I just want to try one other thing, so bear with me just a second. I like these, and I never use them because I just never know what to do with them. I'm going to cut this off and just see if there's something I can't do with them. I'm probably going to not, all right? No. Nope, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I don't think. I love the color. You know what? I love the colors so much. We're gonna pick some of these off and we're gonna use them as a decoration, right? Because then that'll sort of go with the bees and we're, we gotta make sure we put the bees in here. That's what we're gonna use. We're gonna use some of them. We're gonna make them go with the bees. I should figure out where I'm going to put the bees, though. We're going to end up putting one on top of there. Okay. And I'm going to put a couple. Maybe around. If it wants to stick. All right. So now let's just put, I'm going to end up putting a bee up here. I just want to look at it myself so I can see the direction. Okay, so I'm gonna put a B here. This one I'm gonna have to hold. Oh, man, is this glue hot. If I get it on me, it ain't gonna be pretty. All right, we're gonna hold this in place for a second. Amber, I don't think it takes away from that rustic at all. It sort of adds to it. All right, so I've got that B on there and that B. All right, we got one more B here. Let's, um, see, I maybe could have done the B here. You know what? That wasn't stuck on all the way anyhow. I'm going to put the other B here. Or do I want them on top? No, I'm gonna put them here and then I'll decorate a little on the top. Okay, let's stick them in here. Thanks, Vicki. I made a scat a couple of months ago, but it has been sitting. It's been a great inspiration. Oh, thank you, Nancy. All right, so we got that. Now I'm just gonna put a couple, I'm just gonna put a couple more, maybe little, no, I I really don't even need a lot on here. Don't you think? Um, I'm afraid, I'm afraid of putting too much. Maybe I'll put, um, maybe I'll put a flower over here. I'm afraid of putting too much just cause those bees are so cute. Somebody asking about the bees? Yeah, I just, I made them. I made them live on here, so go back and watch the replay. So, um, again, I'm a little, and you know what? <laughs> now that I look at it, I'm pulling this bee off because I gotta have it a little closer to the middle. I This is what I do, and, and the glue doesn't come out. I have to have it a little closer so that you're seeing all the bees from the one view. So let's just add a little more. This is the way I do my crafting. There, that way you can see the bees more in one view. Okay, so now let's just look. I think maybe we'll just add one sunflower over here just to add a little something it's all in the same um same colors that i'm already using let's just add the one in there and we'll see what it looks like okay I think that's 
Let me just look at it. So I think I'm going to need, I'm going to put a sunflower down here too. Now I, I can't see it because of my comments, but I think it needs something down there. Let's do that. Add a sunflower down here. Thank you, Laura. So if you like what I did, please pass it on. Please pass the video on. Um, Facebook doesn't like it if I say the word share. I'm saying it. <laughs> so please help me out. And and hopefully they'll pass it on more then. All right. I think I'm going to leave it like this for now. So this isn't, well, you know what? I see that I need something over here yet. I don't want to do too much. I just, I don't want to do too much. I think I'm going to leave it like this, and I might look at it tomorrow again, maybe tomorrow night. It'll work tomorrow. So maybe tomorrow night I'll look at it if I if I don't finish. But I love it with the bees. I think they're adorable. See the cute cuteness of them? So I hope you had fun with me tonight. I really appreciate you all coming on. You're watching me. I'm Michelle with Crafty Servings uh, on my Facebook page. I have a Pinterest, uh, Instagram, and an Etsy shop, all Crafty Servings. So thank you for coming on with me tonight. I appreciate it so much. It's good to be around with friends and hope to take everybody's mind off of everything that's going on and just have a little bit of fun. So everybody stay really happy, healthy, and safe. And I'll see you all really soon. Bye.